uh, some of my uh, opponents are suggesting that, you know, they can shrink the budget and expand the services. The math doesn't work. This is sloganism, okay? This is dreaming. This is pie in the sky. I'm asking for the voters to support me because I support the reality of the situation. When my mailer and my advertising, if we can call it that, comes, there won't be slogans. Simple facts. Simple facts. One of them says, uh, one of the slogans I've seen, I want to improve the life in San Clemente. Okay, is there a person on the planet who doesn't want to improve the life of where they are? Mm -hmm. These are slogans. Mm -hmm. I have details. I have specifics. I think small business needs more support from the, sit from the city. I'll give you one example. You know, we currently have a TOT tax, a transit occupancy tax, a hotel tax, if you will. Uh, the city collects about $2.8 million in, in that tax. Most of it goes into the general fund. I would really like to see most of that money being dedicated to promoting the city of San Clemente, tourism in, in the city of San Clemente. Mm -hmm. I, would, I would very much look, look at zero base budgeting. Government gets itself in trouble by spending more money than it collects, and at which time it has to raise taxes or go in, into deficit spending. Our city is looking at deficit spending going into the future. We very much have to look at how we're going to prevent that. I think one of the things we could do is look at non-public safety spending, every position, every expense, and look at how we can cut going, in, into, the, going into the future. Um, business does it. Nonprofits do it. There's nothing wrong with government doing it. I think that our city managers, I've heard a lot of complaints within different organizations, nonprofits, businesses within the city of San Clemente who are just trying to do their best and, you know, do what they can to improve our town. And they've been met with hostility and at times, um, you know, not the best attitudes from our city management. Um, and sometimes that frustration ends up being directed at city staff. Uh, from these groups within our town, but usually the problems seem to arise from city management. Mm -hmm. So I think that we need to have an internal review, assess the jobs that are being done, and if you know the individuals at the top are not doing their jobs well and they're not contributing to our community in a way that is best fit, then we need to find someone who's going to do that. Yes, I'm actually for small business, so in increased revenue, so spending some time or some money out of the budget of the TOT or whatever on um, marketing our small businesses and our hotels and restaurants. But then also, we need to bring in the revenue because we want to keep the taxes down. Nobody wants higher taxes. I don't want higher taxes. Right. You don't want higher taxes. So to keep that down, we have to increase the revenue. But another way that I think that our our current situation is that we're not really overseeing some of the invoicing. So you've got uh, the legal teams that are being hired. We've had a plethora of lawsuits, and I don't believe we've really won any of them. So we're spending money after money after money. Well, that's not the city's money. That's the taxpayers. And I'm guessing that most taxpayers here in San Clemente don't want to sit in a courtroom and waste money on lawsuits. They want us as a city council, when I'm elected, um, to work harder at staying out of these lawsuits and solving these problems and keeping on budget. So I'm gonna work like a hawk on all of the invoicing and the legal bills and everything else to make sure that that's the right choice for us. I think with our budget, uh, it comes down to a lot of issues with poor planning, uh, poor execution, and I just see city staff being directed in a, in a manner that's not efficient. We had a $25 million proposal the other day for a homeless center where staff was directed to uh, put all these resources into identifying a plan. And when they pushed the plan in front, it was a plan that wasn't even any good. Mm. And, and so there has to be a balance of, uh, of management of staff, staff management and accountability mm -hmm. and directing people to, to, to to a, an effort that, that's not monetarily fiscal for the city of San Clemente is, is poor, poor management in general. And I myself as a business owner look at everything as, as a business. Mm -hmm. And how can you operate efficiently? How can you be lean? How can you identify trends? So are there changes that need to be made with our city management? Oh, by far, by far, yeah. 
And, uh, and I would be going in looking at it from that perspective, mm -hmm. not as a politician, but as a businessman. Mm -hmm.